oxtail ingredients. One half of a pound oxtail, one half of a pound broad beans or pre-cooked canned butter beans or broad beans, one stack of stallion dice, two medium onions dice, one cho cho peel and dice, optional one small carrot dice, one half sweet pepper dice, one small tomato dice, eight garlic cloves, one half green pepper scotch bonnet or real chili pepper, optional one ripe pepper scotch bonnet or real chili pepper ginger cut to size of your thumb for whole cloves one and one half tablespoon of sea salt one teaspoon of parsley dried or fresh one tablespoon of basil dried or fresh one teaspoon of rosemary dice into grains one teaspoon nutmeg grated one teaspoon of grounded black pepper one teaspoon of pimento seeds one and one half tablespoon of browning thyme fresh pieces tied together the size of one finger or one teaspoon one tablespoon white vinegar one fourth cup coconut oil or olive oil instructions one wash the broad beans and soak for 15 minutes or more this releases the gas from the beans. After that pressure cook the soaked beans with 7 cups of waters. Gauge the stove on for- It will take 20 minutes to pressure cook. Note, start the timing when it starts to whistle. Once it's cooked too, remove the water, cover and put aside until you are ready for it. 2. The seasonings must first be stripped, washed and dyes, then put together in a bowl. Keep the coconut oil and the browning separated. 3. Now put to heat a pressure cooker pot, and add the oil. After two minutes with the stove gauge at eight add the oxtail, along with the seasonings. Stir in the ingredients, now cover well and allow to simmer for four minutes. Four. Next add the browning, stir in then cover properly for two minutes. Five. After that, add four cups of boiled hot water in the pot. Followed by using the pressure cooker lid, cover it correctly. Once it starts to whistle gauge the stove on low flame. Note, start the timing when it starts to whistle. Allow to pressure for 15 minutes. Six. After that is finished pressuring. Remove the lid once it's cooled. 7. Then add the ketchup and the broad beans followed by putting the stove gauge on. 8. Allow to thicken for 5 minutes. Note, drain the water from the canned beans before you add it. It's finished. This recipe is servings for a small family. I'm going to cook oxtail and broad bean or butter bean. Um, this is nearly half pound. But for this menu you can use half pound. One diced, peeled and diced chocho. Half diced sweet pepper. Piece of garlic. Eight cloves of garlic crushed. Two medium sized onions chopped. One teaspoon of grated nutmeg. One teaspoon of grated nutmeg. 1 teaspoon of pimento seed of all purpose 1 tablespoon of dried basil or fresh basil 1 teaspoon of dried parsley or fresh parsley 1 tablespoon and 1 teaspoon of sea salt or 1 tablespoon of regular salt one tablespoon and a half of browning one diced scotch bonnet pepper one diced scotch bonnet pepper four whole cloves one teaspoon of grounded black pepper two stalks of scallion green onion chopped one tablespoon of white vinegar one tablespoon of fresh thyme or dry thyme like a pinch of rosemary kind of just make it really fine break it up because i don't like to see these long leaves so grind this up as fine as you can such as this is rosemary so kind of grind it up really fine like this one teaspoon of rosemary put to boil seven cups of water now after 20 minutes after you soak the peas put the peas in make sure your rubber is on good we're going to pressure this for 20 minutes once it starts to whistle we start to time it for 20 minutes. No, it took eight minutes for it to it took eight minutes. No, it took eight minutes for it to start whistling. No. Start
five time in it for 20 minutes and put the stove on for flame. See that's done. So you just check it at the standard. This took about 25 minutes. To be honest, I did do it for 20 minutes, but I feel that it needed about three to five minutes, so I pressured it for five minutes. So I'm gonna drain this, drain the water, put it in a plate and cover it until we are ready for it. This is cooked, cooked broad beans. Okay, now put to eat a pot, pressure pot, pressure cooking pot for one minute I had a quarter cup of oil now quarter cup of oil should be on on six Just let it stay like this and cover it now after four minutes like this we will add the brown this in about two minutes we're gonna add we're gonna add four cups of water Still you don't want to cook it too much in the kind of break apart. But you just 
just want to cook it enough that it's cooked. Anyway, we're not going to pressure this no more, we're going to stew it. We're going to stew this for about Because we didn't add any salt to this, we're gonna now add the, the broad beans. And just cover this and let it simmer. After five minutes, from time to time, just check it. And just to see if it's sticking. Now, after, now after five to six minutes, Flame on eight. We're gonna add a quarter cup of ketchup. for one minute this and then spin transferring it to a different pot. Oxtail and broad beans. and broad bean. This is upstairs. Oxtail and broad bees. Oxtail and broad bee. Ox. Oxtail and broad bees. Oxtail and broad bees.